Among the churches which participated from the very start of this local Christmas tradition was Bethany Christian Church. Ben Ray Bean has been pastor there for decades. We begin this year's presentation by joining Pastor Bean and our host and producer, Dennis Daly, at Bethany Christian Church. Hi, and Merry Christmas, everybody. It's hard to believe it was 20 years ago that you and I got together for the first time, and we were lucky back then to be able to be a guest of one of the oldest churches in Davies County, Bethany Christian Church, which is located. Hi, and Merry Christmas, everybody. It's hard to believe it was 20 years ago that you and I got together for the first time, and we were lucky back then to be able to be a guest of one of the oldest churches in Davies County, Bethany Christian Church, which is located east of Washington, past where the drive-in theater used to be. But, Reverend Bean, it hasn't been there for a while, and a lot of things have changed in the last 20 years. That's for sure. Even you've changed. You look gray-headed. <laughs> it's blonde. <laughs> blonde. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Well, one thing hasn't changed here at Bethany, and that's the fact that you put the emphasis on, on children letting the very, very small ones participate, and some of those small ones are about 23 right now. Yes, they've grown up, that's for sure. I'd also like to thank Home Building Savings and Loan and Gill Service, Home Building particularly, because the late William Brooks Allen was right there at the beginning to provide the financial support for us to get that off the ground 20 years ago. Ben, let's make way now for the children as they come up here to the front. I'm going to turn the microphone over to you and let you describe this Christmas 1993. Abby Arms is going to be playing from the piano. And uh, so uh, she's going to sing Angels on High. Receiving a good cheer from out of it. Jennifer Wade next is going to play for us. Jennifer Wade is also going to be playing. Well, we've got young people learning the piano. Great job. And uh, here we have Elizabeth And Elizabeth Chambers is playing an unusual instrument here. I believe it's a viola or something of that sort. I don't know much about music instruments, but I'm sure she'll do a good job. These are all 10, 11 year old young people. Cheer, don't they? Our enthusiastic audience tonight. And here comes Tasha Graber. And Tasha Graber is playing on the piano.
another great job for a 10 year old and here comes Krista Price and, and she has a big horn she's going to be playing jingle bells for us Krista Price, and uh, she was a little nervous, but she did a great job there. And so Shea Jones is playing for us this time at the piano, another Christmas carol. I see Cody Cummins coming up. And My name is Cody Cummins and I'm going to play What Child Is This? And so Cody's going to play What Child Is This for us on the piano. And we a lot of musical talent tonight. <laughs> Cummins playing What Child Is This? And he had a good touch on it. And here we have three young people coming this time. Michelle Chestnut, Krista DeFore, and Adam Taylor. I believe they're all about 13 around. They're just a little bit bigger young people. But uh, they've got all kinds of horns here. I wish I knew more about musical instruments because I don't. I couldn't really tell you what they're, what they're playing. Maybe you can understand from uh, when you hear it being played back. So here they are. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
those three young people did a great job. That was Michelle Chestnut, Krista DeVore, and Adam Taylor. And they had beautiful music instruments, and they did a great job at it. Libby Boyd is coming now to play at the piano with us. I think Libby is another 13-year-old one. Got a lot of older and younger young people and, and older, older young people, but these are the age group that leading us off tonight. She's another one of those teenagers. And uh, here comes Amy Cullen. And Amy Cullen, like a little drummer boy. And Amy Cullen's going to play the little drummer boy. And I guess the drummer boy doesn't play a drum, he plays the piano, doesn't he? Or anyway, that's the way the song is. sister's going to help older sister with turning the book.
over by Miss Jennifer Cullen. Uh, these are the older teenagers. And here comes Rachel Patterson and Jason Helm, and they're going to be playing in... in I'm Rachel Patterson, and this is Jason Helm, and we're going to be playing Silent Night. They have their horns, and uh, so they're going to do Silent Night for us. We appreciate these older young people playing for us. job of Silent Night. I don't think I've ever heard it on, on those horns before, but beautiful job, those two young people. We appreciate these older young people uh, taking part. Hi, I'm Alicia Arms, and I'm going to play Heart the Herald, Angel Sing, Have Yourself a Merry Jennifer Arms is going to... Jennifer Arms, Alicia Arms, she's going to sing Heart the Herald, Angel Sing, and Have a Merry Christmas. She's our regular church pianist much of the time.
appreciate these 16 young people from pre-teens on teenage. They're doing such a great job. Thank all of our young people for participating. And I know uh, you guys didn't start playing that good at that age, did you? You worked your way up. So uh, we appreciate the, uh, their talents, the parents keeping with them as they play and practice. And we'll look forward to, as they get older, uh, even better and greater things from them. Our preschool department tonight, Judy Inman, has worked with them. They're going to share with us now uh, some things they've uh, prepared for Christmas as well. So, preschoolers from Bethany Christian. Yeah, that's our son, David Bean, our second son. He's their associate minister for the past year, and it's been a real blessing to work with him and his wife, Marsha. Marsha led the young people out. And she and Judy Inman, Judy Inman is one of, the, one of the teachers, did a good job. Some of the young people are waving at their parents and friends out in the, out in the audience. They expect that out of the preschool. And uh, so they're a beautiful bunch of young people, boys and girls with all kinds of uh, different clothing on, uh, red and green. I believe the red and green is standing out, but blues and pinks and just they're all just beautifully dressed. No, no two of them alike, just beautiful young people. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen young people. Uh oh, somebody's unhappy. Beautiful little blonde, blonde headed gal. She wants mommy. And that's the way it goes. Got various kind of bells that they're ringing, and uh, a good job of singing with the teacher's help, of course. The Lord's birthday is next. school department and parents look for your kid. <laughs> but uh, they are a lively group, those, those preschoolers. I guess there was more than a dozen of them. I forgot to count for sure. Here's my daughter-in-law, Marcia, and... Well, I think they've all been found, so let's all stand up and sing joy to the world. Now we're going to have some congregational singing while everybody's getting their position again. Somebody started singing joy to the world before it's time to start.
the junior church musical, The Gift Goes On, and uh, might describe how the stage is uh, decorated. Comfort's Candle Shop and the Emporium, the uh, Cassius B. Greenbacks Emporium, home of the perfect gift. And so somebody must be looking for a perfect gift tonight. some young people up here singing. Some young people really singing out. up here singing with the young people backing them up. They're hand in hand.
four rows of young people, and they're really putting it out and putting a lot of motion into their singing. Something exciting is happening on Main Street. Come on, let's go have a look. two characters, the kids moved off the side of the stage. They've got aprons on and glasses on. This must be Cassius B. Greenbacks. This is Jay Arms, by the way. Handed sweater, an English bowler, an Irish setter. We're the store that serves you better. We got the perfect gift. Are you singing electric blanket? All the booze when you stick it. You got money, please don't fake it. We got the perfect gift. You will find the perfect gift that makes you like a fly. This is Jay Arnold, the man, and Cody Cummins must be supposed to be his son that he's teaching how to be a merchandiser. see them acting this out. They've got their long aprons on, white aprons. And My, your store is so colorful. Oh, Gumbert, it's you. My, how are you doing, Gumbert? Oh, I heard you're giving away. I can't understand why everybody's coming to your small store. That's Ken candles. Comfort's Candle Shop. Out of it anyway. Well, I enjoy giving candles away. What better way to spread the light, I always say. Well, it's just not the candles, Cumbert. Now you start that storytelling thing again. Cumbert, my friend, this is the 20th century. Don't you know that the age of storytelling is past? This is the 
age of the home computer, the satellite, the VCR. I know that, Patrick. Comfort's candle shop is a little different situation. Story. See, and this is Marsha Bean playing this part. One story? Only one story? That's right. I only have one. Don't you know that I have over 200 movies for sale on video cassette? Mystery, adventure, and treat. Now, why would anybody want to listen to your same old story when they can have one of my movies? Cassius, maybe it had something to do with the story I tell. Oh, yeah? Well, what's so great about it? What story is it? Yeah, what story is it? Well, it's the story of Christmas. Have you ever heard it? Oh, sure, we've heard it. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, everyone was snoring, especially the mouse. We've heard that same old story till we're sick of it, aren't we, Bucko? We sure are. Not that story, Cassius. It's the real story of Christmas. It actually happened. Well, I bet I've got 50 better ones on video cassette. Cassius, I'll tell you what. You come and listen to our story, and if you don't think it's the best, if you, best story you've ever heard, then I'll, I'll, I'll buy one of those videos that you've been talking about. Well, that's a deal, Comfort. I can always use another paying customer. <laughs> hey, gather around, let's get ready to tell the story. So they're putting on their costumes and they're getting ready to play the part of the story. They cutting things out of the lover's bench and they're putting on their costumes now right here while Marcia's singing. Costumes for shepherds and wise men and so on while the singing's been going on they've been doing it right here on the platform. out on the platform and they begin to sing about it. Ship. 
shepherds come out by the manger with their sheep, the little sheep that they're carrying with them. Of course, not a real sheep, but... They're, they're in the foreground, they're all singing. Once the shepherds had heard the news about God's son being born, they rushed to see him, praising God all the way. Shepherds come and kneel down at the manger, manger cradle. men come following a star a young lady holding a star up and wise men come with their crowns on and their bright robes and so on the wise men come and fall at the manger to and Cassius B. Green Bucks to look at the cradle and look at the baby. And
young people are sitting down on the floor in what? front or on the edge of the platform. What a celebration! Robert, have you ever given any thought to advertising? Advertising? Right, advertising. You know, Jingles, Robin, we need to spread this news around. You're right that we need to spread this news around, but I don't think it's Jingles and slogans that we need. Well, what is it we need then, Robert? Just tell us, and we'll get it. Cassius, the only thing we need is people telling people. The best way I know to advertise this particular story is to first believe it yourself, and then find someone to tell it to. People need to hear the news that God has given them a savior. Would you like to find the one who loves you? One who's always thinking of you. Jesus is a perfect gift. for the seasons, for sure. Merry Christmas, Cassius. Merry Christmas, Bucko. Ooh, Comfort, what a day this has been. For the first time in my life, I feel like I know what Christmas is all about. I'm so glad you came over today. Can you stay with us for a while? Oh, I like this, Comfort. But to tell you the truth, I'm having a hard time keeping this gift to myself. So am I. I think we need to get, find someone to give the message to. Let's go, Bucko. See you, Comfort, and, oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Cassius and Bucko. And Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas from the young people of Bethany Christian Church, Highway 50 East of Washington. We appreciate Dennis Daly making this available and those who sponsor the program very much. And we appreciate you being with us to listen to it. the platform back in the congregation it's the people standing at the end of the pews and singing and, and greeting the people this has been the Christmas at Bethany Christian Church one of the oldest congregations in Indiana dating back to 1830 when uh, the town of Washington wasn't even here. And always young people have been important. And young people tonight of various ages from preschool on up have been very important in this Christmas pr program. And we wish all of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We invite you to any and all of our services at the Bethany Christian Church.
Highway 50 East of Washington. Our worship service, 9.30 on Sunday morning evening services at 6 o'clock. This is Christmas in Washington, Indiana.